Okay, here is my current fridge. It's pretty messy on the inside, but I will show you guys just what the inside looks like. It's very messy. Um, and the workers are about to be here with my new fridge. And I need to empty all this stuff out in like five minutes. So, ooh, I'm out of breath already. Here we go. Okay, guys, the fridge is now here. Um, I love how it looks. It's very, very pretty. I go to open the freezer to start putting some stuff in and the handle falls off and I call like five minutes after and he's like, oh, we already started driving away. Uh, you'll have to call Best Buy services to come and repair it. I paid $60 for them to install my fridge and move the other fridge out. Or it was 40 for them to install it, 30 for them to recycle or take a fridge to a different spot. And I'm like, the handle just fell off. And he was like trying to tell me how to fix it and it's like not getting fixed. I also noticed a scratch on the front of the fridge, which is annoying. And I had to keep like giving the guys tools. They needed my hammer, they needed a step stool. So I feel like that was very, the guys were nice, but I feel like that was kind of unprofessional. And I'm like annoyed about the handle. My dad is gonna come over tonight and we'll see if he can fix it. I'm on the chat, like live chat right now with Best Buy and I was gonna let them know. Also, uh, they took the fridge and put it in the garage and they had to remove the doors to get it through the door. Um, so, and they wouldn't put the doors back on the fridge. <laughs> so all my food, I, it's gonna take six hours for this to cool down. So I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, a lot of this is like drinks and sauce, which this could be out for a few hours, obviously. Um, I put my chicken and stuff in the freezer so hopefully that cools down soon. But my plan was to put the stuff just back in the fridge outside because it was already going to be cool. I didn't know they would not put the doors back on. So that's a little bit of an inconvenience. Um, obviously paying for them to install it and take the fridge somewhere else. You would think they would at least put the doors back on the fridge. But yeah. So I'm debating if I should go get ice packs from the store. I don't even have a cooler. So... I don't know if I should go buy a cooler and some ice packs and like put all my like cheese and everything because because the guy was like, well, what's important? I'm like, like all of it? <laughs> like, I don't want to throw this stuff away. Um, I'm going to go through the stuff right now and get rid of some stuff that I haven't used, like some older ice cream and... I did have a McFlurry and an old smoothie in my freezer. So like that stuff can obviously be thrown away, but that is pretty annoying. I will show you guys the inside of the fridge though later because I want to let it get all cool. I don't want to keep opening the doors. Are we ready for the final fridge reveal? Okay guys, I got everything organized in it and I'm going to show you. It's beautiful. I really, really like it. So, this button right here opens up like the sauce area, which is actually so convenient. Yesterday, I just needed to go in here and grab jalapenos, and I just went in here and I grabbed the jalapenos. So, that is so convenient. Over here, I have like my desserts and like coffee toppings. So, I have my creamer. Ready Whip, Hershey syrup, marshmallow fluff, sea salt caramel, pumpkin pie. And then down here, I have all like my fun sauces and hot sauces. So a whole bunch, you know, sriracha, spicy garlic hot sauce. We obviously have the Franks, the Taco Bell sauce, this garlic sauce, sriracha, A1, um, these other two, Franks hot. I was talking about these on my main channel. So there's this honey teriyaki, and then this one back here is just buffalo, and then this one's a garlic, so I, I like my hot sauce, um, yum yum sauce, um, this parmesan garlic sauce is pretty good, and then some soy sauce, so the next one, I have like the basic toppings, you know, for like a burger or a salad, all right there, and then way, way up, I just have my jalapenos, my pickles, and my banana poppers, and that all fits in here. So great. So I'm extremely happy. And 
then when you open it all the way up, you could still see it all. And if you want to open it up from this side too, you can. This little door. And you can see everything besides what you can't get, what's on that other side. So, easy access. And then let's open the other door. Over here I have my eye patches for my puffy eyes. <laughs> and then I have my little uh, face roller and my ice ball for my face. And then up here I have some dips. So I put my pimento cheese jalapeno dip this garlic and herb and parmesan cheese. And up here we have my cream cheese and butter. So what's really cool about this fridge is um, you have more space up there because the ice maker is actually behind the store. So it is like thicker because the ice maker is back there and the water filter is in here. So usually that's like attached in there. It's not as deep. I need to figure out how to turn that beeping off though. <laughs> It's not as deep as my old fridge. It's about four or five inches uh, difference. But honestly, I like that better because I can see everything and things don't get lost in the back. Right here, I just, I'm gonna keep my veggies. Here's my veggies. And then on this side, I'm gonna keep like my cheeses and like sandwich stuff. So I just have some shredded cheese, mozzarella, turkey, some cheese blocks, so keeping it simple and then I have my eggs in this container this uh, these are actually from Christmas I still need to use them they're little ornament like mixers so this one's like classic margarita lemon drop and a cranberry one um, I keep forgetting to use them but I put them out so I can see them so I will use them okay so now for my drink organization um, I want to keep this super organized like this all the time whenever I have people over it always just disappears which I'm like come on so starting over here we have coconut water you can find this at the dollar store I have the original and then I also have pineapple ones in the back and then I just have propels these vanilla Starbucks Frappuccinos, and then these iced espressos, pumpkin spice latte, and vanilla. I really like the vanilla. They also have mocha and caramel macchiato. My favorite Gatorade, and then I have this nitro cold brew. I've never had this. My mom picked this up for me, so I'm excited to try that. And then I also just have this bubble milk tea drink that I found at World Market. So I just have those two together. And then up here, so I moved this shelf up one because the Propel was a little bit too tall. I think the gate, yeah, the Gatorade would be too tall too. And I put small stuff up here. So if I have more like dips, like French onion dip, I could just set that stuff up here. Um, but I have two little cookie dough cafe cups. This little miniature iced coffee. Found this at World Market as well. And then these are two boxed waters that are actually from a hotel. And then over here, I have my little organizing bins. Um, this one has cheese string cheese and laughing cow this has some yogurt this uh, milk and cookies flavor I've actually never had that flavor just got these from Target and then this big one look how stocked up this is this was also my Sam's Club haul um, so these are cheese and crackers Ritz and then the yellow ones are cheese and wheat thins and then up here I just have some lettuce in my container and then I have all my fruit up there. I have a rotisserie chicken and my leftover wing stop. And that is about it for the fridge. It's so bright, like way brighter than my last one. And then in this one, I made this one a freezer. You can make this one a fridge. You can make it, I'll show you guys the options. Here's the options. So you could do wine, deli and snacks, cold drinks, and meat and seafood, or freezer. So I chose freezer. I have all my leftover last crumb cookies. They have sent me so many, and my dad will usually take some to work, and then I also save them. They're so good, just defrosted and warmed up in the microwave. I never just throw this stuff away. So I made this whole drawer for that, my little snacks. <laughs> and then over here is all the bread, most of it. That one's HelloFresh, but this is all bread my mom makes and gives to me. Um, so they have a jalapeno bagel, some zucchini bread, 
all my mom's bread. <laughs> I hardly even buy bread at the store anymore because she is just baking, baking, baking. Baking it up. This morning I had a blueberry muffin too that she made. <laughs> so I was like, she's getting a whole drawer and it's like up high so I can like read it and because it's hard to see everything when it's all just in bags. And then the last one. So this is where the ball ice is going to come out of. It has not came out yet. It said it was going to take a while for the first time. And then up here I have like side dishes and meals. So I have some chicken, rice, hash browns, veggies, sausage, and garlic naan. And then below here I have more fun stuff like breadsticks, pizza rolls, Korean fried cheese. And then over here I have like desserts. So we have some Ben and Jerry's. Um, these are frozen fruit, fruit pearls, love those, they're so good, it's yogurt and real fruit, they also have that brand too. Um, these donut bars, those yogurt bars in the Sam's Club video, those are chocolate covered bananas, and this ice cream is so good. So that is the whole freezer. I will show you guys when the balls come out, maybe a little bit later, or whenever they decide to come out <laughs> okay I'm adding on to this video a while later but here are the balls and I love this I emptied out the whole tray of balls to give my mom a bag of it because she was making punch and she wanted a bunch of balls to put in it but these things melt so slowly um, it makes only three a day but I mean you don't use them often and you could always just use the ice up here but yeah that is what it looks like so cool